Hello, welcome to Into Studio with Dole Designs. My name is Cheryl Dole. Today I am going to review with you um, disposing and making pickle acid. Um, pickle acid is for removing fire scale when you have torch fired or put a flame to any type of metal. It tends to get fire scale on it and you use the pickle acid for uh, removing that. Pickle acid works best when it's warm, so it's typically stored in a crock pot. This is the inner part of my crock pot that I'll put this into when I'm finished. And, and that's when it works best. Always watch your pickle though, because once it gets really hot, I flip mine and off through the process of it. If I'm making something that uh, takes me a while, I will actually flip it on and off. So when it gets really hot, I will turn it off. You don't want it to get too hot. It'll create a crusty film at the bottom of your pickle pot. And it is a fire hazard if you leave it on too long. Um, these crock pots do get pretty hot and you definitely don't want to leave it on overnight or for several hours. Um, so me personally, I turn it on off and on throughout the process of uh, silversmith smithing and metal smithing. Um, also, there are several types of pickle. I use Sparex number two. Um, you can get that from several, and it might come up backwards on here. I get that from several uh, jewelry companies. You can get, uh, Rio Grande sells it. Cool Tools, I believe, sells it. Uh, several places sell the Sparex. There's also a citric acid that you can use um, that's not supposed to be quite so toxic because I do wear gloves with this. Um, it is more of a toxic material. Be very careful with it. You don't want to inhale it. That's why I did not do this part on film. Um, I'll, and I'll explain that in a minute uh, because I do do that in a well-ventilated area and make sure that in this area is well-ventilated, but I also turn on additional fans and you would not be able to hear me. Um, so do be careful when you dispose of the pickle acid, when you're mixing it up, etc., because it is, if you're using the more toxic version. But like I said, there is citric acid. There is a, there's a lot of homemade versions out there with a combination of vinegar, salt, and water. Um, so you can check into that if you want something that's, like I said, less toxic. So disposing of the Sparex, um, what I do is since baking soda is a neutralizer for it, so I put, I usually don't have much left in my crock pot, to be honest with you, by the time I'm ready to change this out. I do run two at a time, so uh, when one's about done, I'll go into the other, or I separate them out between copper and silver. Um, but I usually don't have much left, but what I do is pour it into a container with baking soda. Now when you do this, it's going to expand, so that's why the reason for a large container, because it's going to um, almost triple in size of the quantity that you have when it starts neutralizing, it bubbles up. Then what I do is take a uh, kitty litter with baking soda in it and go one step further and put that in as well. So I will go be taking this out uh, to the garage, then I will be putting kitty litter in it and actually letting this, before we actually dispose of it, um, letting that set for a few days. And so I make sure it's well neutralized before it is actually disposed of. To make the pickle acid, let's go ahead and go through that. Um, I'm using one cup of water, because I have this little small crock pot, to an uh, eighth of a cup of pickle, which is two tablespoons. Now you put the water in first, and then you put in the pickle acid. So it's a very simple process. So we'll go ahead and get our cup of water here. <clears throat> At this point, I don't really worry about whether it's hot or cold. Um, I'm going to be heating it up. And turning it on in the crock pot here shortly. And it is, if you can, if you have enough space, it is good to have two if you're doing copper and silver both, because the copper one gets tends to get pretty nasty over time. Um, and I usually change it out about every two weeks. And it depends on how much you're you're using it as well. You may not have to do it that often, or you may have to do it more often. All right, so with my gloves on here, I am putting in two tablespoons of Sparex. There's one. And there is two. Now, the next thing is I'm going to stir this up, but not with this spoon. Um, at this point, and I'll be cleaning that up as well. At this point, um, use copper. 
you know, you use your copper tongs uh, for pickle acid because it will eat at your stainless. Uh, it will tear them up. So you de and definitely start the rusting process very rapidly. So the only material you want to use now to, now that we have the acid in here to stir this up, would be the copper tongs. So I will be taking this over and putting it in my crock pot and stirring it up with the copper tongs and turning that on prior to uh, silversmithing. Because yes, it does it does work a lot better. It, you can, it'll work without it being heated, but it works a lot better, a lot faster when it is heated. So I hope some of that helped you out today. Um, if, sh if so, please like this video, please share this video, um, and subscribe to our page. I will talk with you soon. Have a wonderful day.